Hi there, it's Rich with Richbound Photography, Sacramento, California. And here's going to be a little tutorial that's actually focused on my workshop attendees that we just finished a workshop this last week. And uh, I'm going to edit some of the photos I took at the workshop. And everybody took a lot more than I did because I was a little bit busy, as you can imagine. But I'm just going to show my attendees and all of you out there in in uh, Richbaum Tips and Tricks land, I want to show you how I edit these shots. There's one interior and I think four uh, twilight shots. So I think everybody can benefit from watching this, and especially my attendees, these students, where we have so much going on and so much new information that maybe when you get home and you start editing, you're going to forget a little bit here and there. So hopefully these editing, you'll see me edit these editing tips, will uh, strike a core and uh, you'll be able to remember what you need to do and uh, you'll be successful at editing your images. So I want to say sit back and watch this. And oh, by the way, check it out. Shooting Spaces t-shirts. Now for the Shooting Spaces Real Estate Photography Podcast. And these can be, um, I, I think they're online now, but they're going to have a whole selection of new shirts for the uh, podcast universe out there, all the people that like the podcast. So uh, we're going to try different logos and different colors and things like that, I think. So sit back and uh, watch this tutorial. And afterwards, you can check out Shooting Spaces Podcast at shootingspacespodcast.com. And that is uh, Shooting Spaces, a real estate photography podcast. Entertaining and educational. So sit back and watch me as I bring you into Lightroom. Okay, now we're in Lightroom, and I'm going to show you the interior shot first. We have four images I'm going to use. One is the ambient image. One is the flash image. One is a window pull image. And one is the curtain here, which is a trick. I'm just going to close the curtain in this shot and take another flash image, and I'm going to use the floor there. So let's go right into it. And again, I'm not going to go too too deep in this for the public. This is mainly for the uh, workshop attendees to see uh, how I just went through this because they saw me do it. So it will make a lot of sense to them. So I'm just going to now go and I'm going to get the ambient yellow out. And I'm going to bring down my exposure just a little bit. I'm going to go really quickly through this right there. Okay, my flash image. I'm only going to do my half bump because my a7 III doesn't work as well with my full bump. So half bumps looking okay. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to do my window pull. I'm just going to do my um, half bump for my window pull and bring down the exposure just a little bit. There we go. Just about there. Okay. And this shot I'm just going to leave alone and then we're just going to use this for the floor. Okay. So I'm going to now I'm going to go into edit. I'm sorry, photo edit in open as layers in Photoshop. And people say to me, why don't you make a hotkey for open as layers in Photoshop? Well, I do have a hotkey. I use it on my mouse, my Logitech mouse, but I don't want to do that. I want to show everybody how I do it because most people haven't done the hotkey. And one day I will make a tutorial on hotkeys. Um, but I just want to remind everybody to please subscribe to this YouTube channel and watch out for Shooting Spaces, a real estate photography podcast at shooting spaces, shooting spaces dot, I'm sorry, <laughs> shooting spaces podcast dot com and uh, listen to our podcast. It's a great learning experience. OK, so right now I'm going to take the last layer is the window. I mean, the I'm sorry, the floor layer. I'm going to turn that off. I bring brought to the to the top. The next one is my window pull layer, and I'm going to bring that just underneath there. There, I'm going to turn that off and I'm just going to take my ambient and I'm going to use option on a Mac, alt on a PC and hit add a layer mask. OK, so now I'm just going to go and make sure it's white for reveal. Uh, I've got my paintbrush set. I've got zero hardness. I'm at six percent flow and I'm ready just to paint in a little bit of ambient. I don't need much because I'm pretty happy with this shot. OK, and I'm just going to go over these windows because it's a little funky up on the top. But I'm going to fix that view so I don't really need to worry about it. I'm going to bring a little bit of ambient in here, in there. I don't mind a little bit of sunlight on that headboard and the baseboard. But uh, there we go. OK, there we go. OK, that's all I need to do for my ambient. I can show you the difference. Just a little bit, like right here, added a little bit of, um, little bit of shadow. I like it. OK, now let's do our window pull. So I'm going to make a layer mask again. There we go. And I'm going to go into 100% flow because I want to make a very concise 
paint in job. And I'm going to go make sure that I'm in darken mode. Okay, great. So I have a black mask. I'm in darken mode. So anything brighter, which will be the um, layer underneath here, will not show up because it's darker and only the darker window will show up. That's darken mode. So let me go here, get a little tighter. Okay, so I'm going to make this go down a little bit. There we go. Paint in the window. There we go. Just a little darker. Okay, there we go. Beauty. Okay, let's go in here. And again, it's not painting over the, the door because the door was overexposed with the flash. And if anybody wants to know about darken mode, I have several good tutorials on that. And I'll probably do a new one just so everybody can see it. Some people have trouble with the darken mode. And you know what? You got to do it absolutely step by step. But this is not the video for darken mode. This is the video just to show how I'm editing this. So if you really want to see darken mode, just check out the video. So I'm going to just paint in a little bit there. There we go. Okay, it's going a little bit over, so I'm going to hit X and just erase there. There we go. Good. Okay. Okay, and let's go over here. And I'm going to hit X again, so I'm in white to reveal. Just a little darker there. That's nice. And again, it's a little funky up in here, but I'm not going to worry about it. This is just a quick tutorial. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the shade and here's the deal I close these shades and it is going to eliminate this glare here so all I have to do now is highlight it and make a layer mask okay now I just have to paint in by hand freehand I'm gonna paint in right here okay I'm actually at a hundred percent so I like that there we go I'm just gonna stay away from that door because I know from experience, if I keep painting at that door, I'm going to, um, here, I'll just do it for you. Reveal, reveal the, um, the layer underneath it. I don't want to reveal that. So I'm going to go backwards on there. And I'm just going to paint it in here. Keep it real simple. Okay. Let me enlarge this. Oops. Let me go there. Let me enlarge it. Sometimes it's easier to go over it and back and then go and erase because you can see where you're working. But for me right now, I just want to do it really quick. There we go. I'm seeing a little bit, as you can see, I'm seeing a little bit of the curtain from the layer below it. So what I need to do now is just hit X and go in there real tight and just make a nice small paintbrush. I'm just going to erase it. There we go. And that little extra bit in there. Okay, let's just get in there. Good. Okay. And I'm just going to fix that in there a little bit. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm now going to go hit X again and paint in right. Really fine. Just detailed work. You could also use your quick selection tool and just select that and it would be easy. Okay, and I'm just going to get one more, get this out of here. There we go. Okay, so now I've got everything I want right now. I got that little bit on the floor I have to fix. So I'm just going to flatten the image. I'm just doing Command F. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is use my clone tool. I don't think I've ever done a video on cloning. It just seems so simple. Okay, got my clone tool. I'm just going to hit it on a piece of the floor that will match. There we go. And bam. Okay, there we go. Let me make this a little smaller. Okay, here we go. Let me go with just a little bit of flow. Let's go down to 25% here. Okay, and I'm just going to go paint over that okay there we go I'm not the best cloner but I get the job done okay there we go let's go in here there we go 
and I don't want to spend too much time on here, but all my workshop attendees, this may help you. And I'm just going to do a little clone here just to get rid of that. There we go. Okay. Good. I'm not even going to worry about over there. You know what? You could do as much as you want. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And let's just go right here. There we go. Okay. And I'm not even going to worry about the rest of that. So I think it looks fine. Anyway, you can spend as much time or as little time as you want on it. So I'm now just going to close this out. I'm not even going to save it. Okay, let's go to the next one. The next shot is a um, twilight shot. Let's see, I use this one. I think this is the one I want. So let's just not use, let's use this one. And I'm just going to go reset. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm resetting it. Here's the um, image before, straight out of camera. And here it is, just edited in Lightroom. So let's take this image. First, I'm just going to do my full bump. There we go. And I'm going to lower down the exposure right here. And I'm going to increase the dehaze a little bit and increase my saturation and vibrance, make it kind of colorful, and a little bit of the white extra, a little white going up there. Good. And you know what? I'm just going to leave it at that because it's super simple. And I'm also going to brush in. I, I'm not going to brush in. I want to do an exposure gradient. This is the gradient tool. And I'm just going to use a little bit of saturation and a little bit of negative, like three quarters of a stop down. And I'm just going to bring a gradient tool here. There we go. And maybe even turn it a little bit or a purple. There we go. Okay. No, nope, I don't like that. So anyway, and then what I can do too is just add in a little bit uh, with the local adjustment brush. I'm going to go into my preset of uh, twilight brush in. And I'm going to bring down my exposure here just a little bit. I just want a little bit, give it a little bit of pop, a little saturation, whites, uh, con uh, no contrast, a little bit of exposure. I'm just going to dab. I want to make sure I'm at good 100% flow so it just goes in there. There we go. There we go. A little bit, little pops here and there. Okay, there we go. Now, a little bit too much for me. So I'm just going to bring it down, a little less saturation, back it off, a little less exposure, and a little bit so highlights here. And if you don't like so much, you just see how you have, and look at the, um, the circle there. I have a plus there. If I hold down my option key, it will erase. So I can erase parts of that if I want. But I'm happy with that. And that's all I did. It was so simple to do. So let's go to this one. I'm going to re I'm actually going to make a virtual copy so you can see here is the straight out of camera right there and this is just with Lightroom editing super simple okay so let's go down to it and let's now just do my full bump there we go and I'm going to make it a little bit not so red oh actually I'm on local area adjustment so I just want to have my overall Adjustments, and I'm going to go to exposure. There we go. I like it about there. I'm going to make it a little bit bluer, too orangey, I think. Okay, good. Now I'm going to go down here and add a little bit of dehaze. And one thing I'm going to do with this here is I'm going to take out saturation, a little bit of orange. Watch the lights in here. It's a little bit orangey. So I'm going to go there. And a little yellow out. There we go. That's much better. Okay. So I'm going to raise the exposure just a little bit. And I'm going to go back into my local area brush. And I like I have the same preset. I call it um, Twilight Brush In. But you can call it anything you like. Okay. Now I'm just going to go pop, pop, pop. Here we go. I'm doing a little bit of light painting inside of Lightroom. There we go. There we go. Not perfect, but I'm going to make it really quick for you. I probably spent 20 minutes editing this photo afterwards to make it perfect. I'm going to make it smaller here and go up that chimney. 
Okay, there we go. And I actually fixed all the, I cloned out these lights here because they kind of bug me with this purple here. Look at the purple, oops, let's go backwards. Look at the purple up here. I don't like that there. I could actually lose a little bit of color. Let's try and lose the magenta here. Okay, I'm on saturation. Lose the magenta, there we go. Ah, a little better, okay. But I have some green fringing here. That's from this, um, this Sony a6000. So I'm just gonna lose the green fringing. Watch the green fringing. I'm just gonna do the amount over here and it went away. Okay, so there we go. And I'm happy with it. I'm actually, the only thing I'm gonna do now is auto correct, auto, um, it's not doing anything. So let's uh, let's just do our, our um, transformation verticals. Let's just make it vertical. There you go. Good. And I'm going to constrain crop. And again, I apologize if this is way too fast for most people. Um, this is really just for the attendees. So there you go. And if anybody wants me to spend more time on it, just send me a message and I'll probably do a single edit on any of these. So let's go to the last, second to last image. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to reset it. So they're straight out of camera. And real quick, with the full bump, there we go, full bump or special sauce, there you go. And I'm just going to do the um, gradient tool again. Bring it down. Oops, let's go here. I'm going to bring it a little darker. Okay. A little bit of saturation and a little bit of blue, like 20% blue. Let's go there. Oh, it's too much blue. Let's go here. Back it off a little bit. There we go. And not quite so dark. Okay. Okay. I got a little bit of noise in the sky. So as you'll see here. So I would have to um, fix that noise in there. But that's going to be a tutorial for another time. So and I've actually got a couple of people in here I had to clone out. A couple of my workshop attendees. You could see what I was dealing with. And all these shots are up on a pole. This is a uh, my 16-foot pole here. So I could also do a little bit, let me get rid of the gradient tool. I could also do a little bit of painting with that um, twilight brush in. And now I'll get to take it down just a little bit. Not so much. Let's just give it a little bit of paint in there. Okay. And a little paint in there. Touch there. Maybe it's a little bright and, and colorful for you, but anyway, and then you know what? I, I like to do a nice vignette on there. Kind of takes my eyes into it. And I could probably um, bring this a little tighter here. I want so much driveway here. And I could probably fix all these because this is not a real estate shoot, but I'm going to get rid of it. Now, uh, I, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Now, I will say there's a lot of noise in this shot. A6000. I'm up at... Uh, ISO 400, which, you know, will give it a little bit of noise here and in the shadows. But what you could do, too, is just increase the sharpness here. Let me add a little sharpening so you could see here a little nicer. OK, there you go. I'm, I'm happy with it. OK, and last but not least, here is an ambient shot here. And uh, this is a single exposure where I actually uh, just kind of brush in, and you can see a lot of noise in here, but for a lot of real estate shoots, this is gonna be fine, okay? You can see all the noise in there, but it's the A6000, so it does exhibit noise. So let's now just go back to reset straight out of camera so you can look at it now. One, two, three, there we go. This is the shot, and this is after I edit it in Lightroom. There's, there it is. So let's just do it. So reset. Now let's go to my full bump. And please, you can totally spend more time and do a better job than I do. So first issue I have is all this blue here. So let's now go down to my um, colors, my HSL slider, and I'm going to re remove some of the blue. Go way down. Look at the shot. There we go. Okay, it took out most of the blue. And now what I'm going to do is paint in with my local area brush. I'm going to go again to my 
twilight brush in and I'm actually going to take it down just a little bit and now I'm just going to paint it in. There we go. And you can adjust the colors to fit whatever you're doing. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. That's about all it is. And uh, you know what? In this painting I just did, I'm going to add a little bit of dehaze to that twilight uh, brush in. There we go. And the final shot that I did, I actually used another exposure for the inside to take down that overblown out lights there. Actually, I can show you here my final image. Uh, where is it? Here it is. You can see I masked in a darker exposure there. So here's my final image where I actually cloned in. I cut this down here and I added some noise reduction and there's my final image. But as you can see right here, not a bad job right here, all done in Lightroom. And you can see again um, how easy it is. I went to there and then to there. And all I did right there was Lightroom. So you can see one more time, set it back. And then this is all done in Lightroom in like one minute. So I'm going to show you one more time really quickly. So I'm going to give full bump. There we go. I'm going to take out my, I'm going to get rid of this local area adjustment. I'm going to take out my blue. Bam. Okay. I'm going to go with my local area adjustment and I'm going to go with my twilight brush in. And this is just a preset I made to add a little bit of color to twilights. Take down a little bit of the exposure and I'm just going to paint it in here. Okay, now I don't like that pink there, so I'm going to turn it green. There we go. And add a little vignette. And that's it. That's all I need to do for a real estate shoot. I'm happy with this. So, there you go. That was really, really quick. And to all my attendees, um, if you need any extra help, you know how to reach me. And um, when you go to one of my workshops or you use me, uh, use my private coaching, my one-on-one -on -one coaching, you're kind of in the uh, Rich Bomb Club. So we can help you later times. And we're all, I'm always there for you. So this is Rich with Rich Bomb Photography, Sacramento, California, saying shoot better, shoot smarter get better jobs, and um, just enjoy yourself. I mean, life's short, so have a good time. Uh, watch our podcast, the shootingspacespodcast.com, and that is uh, with Brian Berkowitz, a very talented photographer in New York. And uh, they will be all this information will be in the show notes. And you also want to please subscribe to the YouTube channel and use my Adorama link because it helps me make all these free tutorials. So there you go. And um, there's, there's one shot, one shot. Oh no, here's the one I did, I think. And here's the one I did here. And you can see really, really, really quick to fix all this stuff. Okay, I will talk to you later. Rich Bomb signing off.